Hey guys, I'm gonna show you my setup real quick. All right, so first I'll start out with my microphone. This is the Coles 4104B. Got this mic for a bit cheaper. I'm recording on my Lavalier Go using the Rode Wireless Go 2s, but it's my microphone for commentating really for anything that I want to be a bit more portable and I really like the sound of that mic so that's what I'm using. It has a little attachment so that I can use it with the mic booster. Check it out. All right, so first things first. For the mixer, the Zoom L8, you know that it has a little right angle connection. So I actually bought one, sorry. It has a connection that can be right angled so that's why I got the StarTech cable. I also got the Panasonic Eneloop Pros so that I can charge them. I have, I think I have 12, so that means I at least have six hours of recording, which is pretty good. I have little cheap headphones by Koss, but I really wanted to show you guys the mic booster, so. Clark Tenic Mic Booster CT1. All right. And this all fits into Zoom's CB L8 even has the mildew patch. There you go. No, it doesn't. But let's go ahead and open this up. Now, originally I was carrying in side here because what fits inside here is a little Surface Pro that I have, a Surface Pro 2. So this is the charger for that just in case. Something to hold up that mic. A little cheap stand. Then the adapter for iOS. So I can use it on my phone, of course, if I put the mixer in iOS mode and an iPad. And then the mixer itself. I would have obviously used this, but been a bit overkill. But since I am recording with my movie Cinema Robot by Freefly, discontinued now, but you have combo jacks, six total. You can do XLRs, obviously, or quarter inch adapters um, for well, quarter inch for your actual instruments. You have two high Z channels, so maybe a guitar and bass or something like that, which I do a lot of. Well, I used to play a lot of instruments, so I want to get back into that, but more so now I'm doing a lot more like narrating of home videos, maybe getting students to do uh, podcasts and myself doing podcasts and whatnot. So just a lot of projects coming here. So six total, right? That's pretty cool. You also have other lines, right? line ins, seven and eight channels. Uh, you can use a TRRS input, so you can use your phone to take callers if you're doing a podcast or maybe um, maybe just from your computer, you know, and do stuff. Six different onboard sound pads, which is great. Has gain levels for each and every channel. You gotta select each time that you're trying to EQ. You have your high, you have your mid, you have your low, then some effects and pan, a low cut button, pretty, easy in order to record you got to hit boom recorder then the record button and play here sorry record and play but uh pretty simple i'll have mute buttons etc 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 very tiny screen that's the one thing a lot of people have a gripe with but a lot of different monitor outs you can also do you know splitters with these bop, 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 bop. so maybe you have a lot of different monitor outs or maybe mastering out to a studio monitor setup which is pretty cool but this has been my L8 setup. Peace.